Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Casey Cooper and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, step-by-step -step setup, as well as a review of the LED drum lighting system from Drumlight. I've been using a drum light package in my Pearl Crystal B kit for about two years now because why have a drum set that can just look like this when you could have one that could also look like this? Or this? Or this. Ever since I debuted this kit and the drum light package in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade two years ago, it has brought smiles and entertainment to millions of people all over the world through videos and live gigs. And that's why today I want to show you how to hook your own kit up with a drum light package, whether it is acrylic or a wood kit. And today I'm going to be installing the drum light package in my personal Pearl Decade Maple Kit. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, you gotta get yourself some drum lights. You can buy them as a complete package, like a 10, 12, 16, 22, or other configurations they offer, which come with the lights, all the cables, and everything you need to install and use your drum lights. Or you can buy them piece by piece if you already have a drum light system and you just wanna add on a drum, or if your particular drum set has a set of drum sizes that don't come in a normal package. You can buy them online at retailers like Sweetwater Sound, or you can go into brick and mortar stores like Guitar Center, and they also offer the drum lights. So, go get yourself some drum lights, and then let's move on to the next step. All right, now time for the unboxing of my personal drum lights. I've loved the lights in my Pearl Crystal Beat Acrylic Kit, so now I'm gonna light up my Pearl Decade Maple Kit, and I'm super excited about that, so let's open this box and see what happens here. Now, I have a package from drum lights, so it comes with everything that I need. This box right here is the controller pack, and so you can see, it tells you on the side what's on there. It's the LED controller with wireless remote, which is what allows you to control what color the lights are, how much they light up, um, like brightness, as well as the flashing effects, the speed of the flashing effects, things of that nature. Comes with a multi-position XLR snake cable, which allows you to plug in all the different drums, and then it comes with your AC adapter, which powers everything. So. Here is the snake cable, which will plug into each of the drums. Then we've got the module here. This is your remote. So what's really cool about this is you can actually control the lights with a remote, which is how I did in the intro here. Um, so like I can just be like, boom, blue, or how about orange, or purple, or um, let's try this. So this is a fade, which is really cool. So you got a fade, you got a flash. Oh, that's that's a little bit much for you guys, sorry. <laughs> that is really cool if you slow it down or if you're just really like wanting to rave or something. And then um, you've got the speed, so like you can slow it down here. Now it's a slower movement between the lights and everything. And then you can just go back to like white. You can adjust the brightness and then you can turn it back up and everything. So. That is your remote, and then here is that controller that will plug into the snake. Then we've got an AC power adapter. So everything was in here that we needed. Next up is we have, next up is, next up are the packages of the lights. So each of these is clearly labeled. This is a 13 inch light, and so what that means is that it's going to be exactly 13 inches for a 13 inch drum. Um, the way that they're cut and the way that they work makes it so that there is basically the perfect amount of light and the perfect amount of uh, wrap on the drum, especially on acrylic drums, because on acrylic drums, you don't want the lights to be down here where you can see them. You want to be able to hide them up in the ring. So if they're too long, they start overlapping and you're able to see it. So you want to get the right sizes, 13 inch, 14 inch, 16 inch, 22 inch, 10 inch and 12 inch. So, those are my lights. And then this right here is a little adapter. It's an expansion cable. Um, what it does is, I believe this snake only has five and I've got a six light package. So I'll plug this in here and then it allows me to add on one more um, light to the drum lighting package. So, Let's get down to business and start to set these up and show you how to actually install the lights. It's really simple. Um, you just wanna, you know, make sure you do a good job, take your time, and these things will look so good. So let's let's get on that. So as you can see, I already prepped all of the drums for installation of the drum lights. You have to do that by removing the drum heads. And so 
I went ahead and removed the top head for me because I'm actually going to replace all of my batter heads as well. But if you're installing a single band LED system, which is just one ring of lights on a wood kit, which is kind of the recommendation for that. You can do a dual band and it'll be brighter, which is cool, but the wood kits don't require two bands. The acrylic kits um, are best with two bands because you can have one at the top and one at the bottom, and that helps to light up the drums more. But for a wood kit, one is fine because no light comes out of the sides of the drums itself. So, I took off my batter head since I'm replacing them, but one thing you wanna consider is the porthole on the drum which is right down here for me, is where your cable's going to come out. So you want to think about your placement of the light based on where the porthole is. And so I'm actually gonna put mine right in the middle, that way an equal amount of light goes out the top as the bottom. With the installation of the LED lights in an acrylic kit, you're gonna to want to install the lights as close to the bearing edge as possible. Now you don't wanna put it on the bearing edge because that'll affect the way the drum head sits, but as close as possible, and as you can see here, if you do that correctly, it will be covered up by the rim of the drum. And so when it's lit up, you don't actually see that band because the back of the LED does not light up. So you would see a dark band if you put it in the middle of your acrylic kit. But on a wood kit, it's perfectly fine to put it in the middle because you will see no dark band. So let's actually install one of these bad boys. This is my 10 inch Pearl Decade Maple Drum. So I'm going to be using a 10 inch single LED from Drumlight. This is the individual LED pack. I had six of these in the box that I got with my package from them. So when you open it up, you're going to find three parts. The LED strip which is what the lights are. Each of these right here are the actual lights. Then you've got your connector, which is the XLR based style connector that connects to your snake cable here, like this, and holds it securely. And then you have this, which is a clamp that allows you to clamp and hold the cable to one of your lugs, like so, just like that. And so that way the cable is attached to the drum and doesn't bounce around. Now, in order to actually install the light, it's very simple. You're going to go ahead and unplug the connector from the LED light strip. And if you notice here, there are two black marks on the inside of these connectors. This is just kind of an easy, to uh, read way of seeing how these plug in here. But you can also notice that right here there is a plus, which is for the 12 volt, and there's a B for blue, there's an R for red, and there's a G for green. So if you don't have the black Sharpie or it rubs off, that's how you'll know how to actually put that together. Now, pull that off, and you're going to take the drum line itself, find out where it is that you want to put it. I'm going to put it right about here. And then remember that based on where you put it, your connector has to come in through the porthole and connect. So whether you put it here or you put it over here, whatever it is, you want to make sure that you find your place before you start putting it on. Because if you put it on, and you put the connectors over here, you're gonna have to like come all the way through and connect like that and it's gonna look really weird. So you wanna try and make it look as professional as possible. And that is easier to do if you place the light closer to the porthole where it plugs in. So, find your black mark. So you peel back the red tape like this. You wanna make sure you clean the drum first as well. If there's a lot of dust or anything inside the drum, or if they've been left open for a while and have gotten some sort of filth on the inside, you wanna clean that up first because that'll allow it to um, actually attach better. So I'm gonna put this right about here. You can go ahead and stick that down and then you wanna kinda of pull the strip around on the inside of the drum and then just lay it down. It's a little bit easier to keep it level if you're doing it on an acrylic kit where you have the bearing edge as a reference, but just try and keep it as smooth as possible. 
around the inside of the drum. You can pull it off if you need to, to adjust a little bit. And then you want to end up right over there. Then you want to press that all in really good, make sure it's on there. And boom. All right, so you plug in the cables like that. You can feed this out. One thing that I recommend is taking a small piece of electrical tape. And that will keep these from pulling out if you pull on this cable too much. So before you actually put the head back on, you want to make sure that you test the light. And boom, look at that. We have a drum light. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so now you're good to put the head back on. Go ahead and grab your head. Place it on the drum. And then at this point, you can take your cable and the attachment that you had from earlier, slide it on like that. Line up your tension rod and slide the cable behind the tension rod. And hook this through the tension rod, just like that. I'm going to close this up here once it's in. Then slide this through your tension rod. And boom, you have a finished drum light drum. Ta da! All right, so now you are done with one drum. At this point, it is rinse and repeat for each of the rest of your drums. I don't really have to sit down and show you guys how to do any of these other drums. They're all exactly the same. Your kick drum has the same kind of porthole on it where you run the wire out. Um, it's just a bigger size and the rest of the drums are exactly the same as well. Now you can do a snare drum if you'd like. Um, I have my snare drum on my crystal beat kit lit, lit up, but I don't think I'm going to light up the snare drum on this kit. I haven't decided yet. Still trying to figure it out. I don't have it in the package here, but I may end up adding it on if I do decide that I want that. So I'm gonna light up the rest of these drums and then I'll show you the rest of the configuration. And that completes the installation process of the lights inside the actual drums. Um, all of your cables are now attached on the outside to the lug so that they're secure. The inside, the connection, you've put a little tape on there. You don't have to, but I suggest it just because if someone or something gets caught right here and pulls too hard, you could possibly disconnect it and then you have to take the drum head off. And other than that, um, Man, that's about it. A few of the things that I have learned through the process of installing the drum lights a second time, and a few things that I've relearned. First off is that the actual drum head choice is a huge factor in how it looks. I love the coated head, the coated white head on the front of a kit, um, especially a wood kit with the drum light in it. That looks so good. And then over here, my favorite head for um, the actual 
drums is a Remo pinstripe clear because it's got a little bit of a texture around the edge that catches the, right, the light really well and then everything else just looks so good. Also sounds really good too. So that's a big factor. And then a couple of other things that I noticed that could affect your installation. Um, one thing to note is that depending on the drum size, there is some overlap or is there, there is no overlap of the LED light. Certain drum sizes have where the actual LED light comes all the way around and passes the other side just slightly. And then some of them have a gap. And so when you're doing one that is long enough to pass itself, you want to be careful not to make sure that it runs right back into itself. So I'll show you a little bit of how I did it on the kick here. Um, but that is just because there's different places that you can snip the lights for the different sizes. And so depending on the size, it's either longer or a little bit shorter. You just don't want to make sure that you keep yourself from being able to plug in those lights. And then lastly, I did do something a little different with the kick drum. I said I wasn't going to, but I wanted to put the lights right up next to the drum head in the front so that their light was as bright as possible. So I did that and then ran the cable a little bit differently underneath the tom mount here. That way when the toms, uh, if you use tom arms, come down into the drum, they don't hit the cable and yank it out or anything like that. So show you some video of that. And other than that, now is the last piece of the puzzle here and that is the actual cable installation. So I'll show you that really quick. First off, we'll turn this off. We'll unplug it. So you've got your module here. One end of the module plugs into one end of the snake, but you want to find the end that doesn't have a double connector because that means it's an end. So you'll plug that into your module and then you plug the power into the adapter. And now you have power to your actual module here. You can turn it on and make sure it's working. Looks like we're good here on the kick drum. And then you can go ahead and start connecting each of your drums. Good there, good there, good there. And since I have the six drum option, I have this little expander that I showed you guys earlier. So you can hook that up to two of your drums. You'll probably want to use it for your rack tom since they're right next to each other or your floor tom since they're right next to each other. But for now, we'll just do it that way. And then hook that up and boom, everything is operational. So that is the installation process for the drum light lighting system. And I'm so happy it's done. It took about like 45 minutes, but it's not too bad when you only have the single. If you're doing the dual band with the acrylic kit or a dual band in a wood kit and putting it near the bearing edge, you might um, probably take a little more time to make sure that it's really, really smooth and it's level and everything. But um, in the middle of the drum, it doesn't matter as much. And so I was able to be a little, a little bit quicker in the installation. So that is it. That's the installation. All right. So now that I have the entire drum light system set up inside of my Pearl Decade Maple Kit, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight, a little bit of a review into my experience with Drumlight over the past two years that I have used the product and as well as you know the installation process today. Um, Drumlight has really impressed me and it's one of those things where like people will ask me, they'll be like, oh man, you know, is it worth it? Is it durable? And man, these things are seriously one of the best products that I've ever used in drums. And it's not because they're necessary, you don't have to have them, but it's because they're such a cool want. They're actually like, that's, it's one of those things where like, you're like, man, I really, really want that. And it's actually worth it to get it because um, every single gig that I play now, people want me to play this drum set. It's like, it's a crowd pleaser. It is a um, like demand. I've, I've had different like camps and things that I've been playing in different productions that I've been putting on. People are like, hey man, you gotta bring that drum set. And so this kit has been my gig kit for almost every single event that I've done since I got it. Um, and it is so durable too. Like I've packed this thing up, thrown it in the back of a, a car over and over again, moved it all over the place, had other people help me tear it down and set it up. And you know how that is. You don't want to trust people with your stuff, but um, these things are made to last. The first experience I had with them was at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and I literally played in the snow and the rain and I don't really recommend like you know taking your drum lights out into the rain but I've actually done that too and if you keep the electronics safe, the module and the power plug from the water then everything inside um, just is so 
uh, so safe and so durable and so well made. So um, I have to say that the smiles that this kit and these lights put on people's faces is incredible. It takes your performance, like it's not just about how good you are at the drums anymore. It's about how much of a show and how awesome it is to watch you play. And these drums always take it to the next level. So um, the only thing I can even slightly complain about is the connection on the inside of the drums. Like I said, that's why I put some tape on there because sometimes if you pull too hard, they'll come out. Then you have to take the head off and plug it back in. And so that's the one thing that I've I've had any sort of issue with and it's not even, I mean, it's a inconvenience at most. So. I will definitely say that you guys need to go get yourself some drum light and it's gonna, like, I mean, look how good it looks on either acrylic or wood kits. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, kind of review, unboxing, and setup of the drum light system. And if you have any questions, you can put them down in the comment section. Neither myself or the drum light guys will definitely um, answer those for you. So, thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.